up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this cutting board router table attachment for my new saw stuff. The uh, project was relatively easy. I think it came out pretty nice. I used a combination of cherry, walnut, paduk, oak, and some mahogany. I already had this, and I already had this, and I, the only thing I bought was this uh, tea track. So stick around today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, this is the second episode of my new saw stop adventure. Love this saw, just got it a couple days ago. The right wing here that comes with the saw, and this is a 30 inch saw. This is the piece that comes with it. Uh, you can buy the router table attachment, but it's $600 and I thought that was kind of pricey for that piece of cast iron. So what I'm going to do instead is make my own. So my first cuts on the saw were using this oak, walnut, paduk, some mahogany, some cherry, and I'm going to make my own um, uh, router table uh, extension on here. Okay, I had to glue these up in two sections. My planer is 15 inches wide, my Grizzly, and this glue up is going to be 17 and a half inches. So I had to do two separate glue ups, put them through the planer to clean them up, and then do one more final glue up.
those of you who've been following my channel, you know this is what I call the money shot. This is my favorite part of the project. I'm using just regular boiled linseed oil uh, to make this grain pop and to protect the router table. Whatever you do on the top, you should also do on the bottom, which you'll see here shortly. I applied two coats of the boiled linseed oil over two days. I let it dry overnight. And don't forget to properly dispose of those boiled linseed oil rags. You can either lay them out in the sun and let them dry. And what I typically do is uh, soak them in water. Okay, let's see how I did. This is the fence I had with my grizzly table saw. I decided to keep that. Uh, the attachment for the saw stop, this whole rig, the fence, the tabletop, and the switch was an additional 600 bucks. And since I already had this and I already had a plate, I decided to just do some of this as shop built. I um, had to file down some bolts. These are M8 bolts. I was hoping they would be quarter inch or five six sixteenths, but they're not. So I had to file them down a little bit. Actually, on the um, belt on the belt sander, and uh, so this is going to work just fine this way. And I put this in here. I do have the attachment for the. For the uh, dust collection here. So that's wrapping up this particular project. Next one on deck is the router table box that's going to be below the table. I'm having a lot of fun with the saw so far. I think it's looking pretty good and hope you like the project and the video. If you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you on another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.